You gotta get fly just to listen to the shit. Got a brand new Glock, Scotty Pippen in the clip, but I ain't. Yo, in this video, I'm gonna make a tutorial on. The Yan Shockwave, the Metro Edition, I've uh, made a video on it saying that if I got 1500 subs, I would make a tutorial, which is uh, which is what I'm going to do today. So yeah, um, so f first of all, you just want to mark the kill and beat up the song, which is just here. Just line those two up. And now we want to add some below, so we're going to unlink the clips using this. And go to Retime Controls, add a speed point on the kill. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. And here go six frames ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six. Change this to 200, this to 50, and this to 400. And then go into retime curve. Um, uncheck retime frame and click retime speed and change this to 60. And then close it again. Now you have uh, the VLO, so that is pretty nice. What, you, what we want to do now is drag in um, the shockwave. We want to have the shockwave, so we're gonna drag it in, and we're gonna change the composite mode to a uh, linear dodge if you can find it here. And we are actually just gonna um, keyframe. So go up to zoom, like transform here keyframe the zoom and then type 1.4 then one frame ahead and one again and change the clip speed to 560 like that so now you have the shockwave so just drag this upper layer drag in an adjustment clip like this and go into the fusion tab and then drag in the Yarn flicker plus RGB shake just delete the flicker actually and Before you just go out change the frequency to 0.85 And One thing you also want to do is yeah cut this and then go into the color tab Make sure you're on the on on the clip and not the adjustment clip. You need to be on the clip um, Then press alt L and go on the one Change it to monochrome, go on the second, and add this like little circle here. Actually, just keyframe the corrector one and two. Add this circle and try try your best to keep the circle around the shockwave so that it looks best. So, just like this. Yep. So then you have something like so that the color pops out as the shockwave uh, shockwave goes out. So now uh, another thing you want to do is make this clip under here compound clip. Go into the fusion tab and drag in the metro shockwave glow like this. Oh, so that there's you can see glow. And another thing you can do is. Uh, use a saturation build up so we're gonna drag it in the adjustment clip just make it uh, yeah 120 seconds long and drag in the set build up the piece is called set build up just go and press on this go to the saturation and line this up actually just from the very end go one two three four five and line this keyframe up with that just like this, then you should be good. And this is what it will look like. Oh, yeah, that is. I don't think it gets better in Da Vinci. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope this helped. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.